How you doing? This is John, and welcome to John's Long Box. Today, we're doing the kitchen. Number one, this is Vertigo Comics. Vertigo Comics, for those of you who don't know, was an imprint within DC Comics. So this is a roundabout way of DC. Vertigo was a, a, a like a prestige line of comics. I, I, I thought it was really good. It had like the the Sandman, uh, uh, Alamore Swamp. Well, actually, Alamore Swamp thing was never part of Vertigo, but it was pre-Vertigo. Um, fables and stuff like that. And this was an eight-issue series. Now, here's a funny little story about this comic. It was a, I bought it. This is January 2015. That's when, so I think it actually came out in, in, in uh, the end of uh, 2014, but it doesn't really matter. I'm still six years old at this point. And it sat in my to-read box since then. I bought them all because back then Vertigo had the distinction of everything out, it was pretty good. So I pretty much collected everything Vertigo put out. And <laughs> here's the funny thing. I was like, okay, three girls, the kitchen, New York City, you don't earn respect staying at home, you're in and out in the street. So I'm like, okay, it's it's another three witchcraft girls, you know, the redhead, the blonde, the brunette. I'm like, okay, the kitchen, cauldrons, blah, 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 you know, they're going to be, it's, they're going to be doing crime and, 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 and which and I was like, I, I'm tired of this. So I kind of put it in my box and I forgot about it. Well, I whenever I read comics, I put them in this the spinner rack right over here. See, there's my spinner rack. And I just, just you know, I spin it around, spin it around, spin it around until I find the comic I want to read. And I'm like, you know what? This is six years old. Let me just grab it. It's only eight issues. And, and uh... This is my Halloween video, so I was like, "Okay, it'll be perfect." It's, it's, it's. I'll read some witchy stuff. Although I didn't think I was gonna do a showcase on this, I just thought I would grin and bear it. Well, not only does it have nothing to do with witchcraft, well, we'll talk about the story. It will open it up, but it was excellent. It was just, just excellent. I, I sat and I read all eight issues. Something I hardly ever do. I just sat, didn't want to, and then as soon as I was done with the eighth video, I grabbed this phone. I, I, I looked up the writer. It turns out he wrote like two issues of Wonder Woman and this series, and then he's done with comics. So I, I wish him well on whatever he's doing. Um, and this was excellent. It was a crime thriller. You know, mafia. These are, Their husbands are in the mafia. They get arrested. It's all in the comic. And it's all realistic. Um I'll talk. I'll, I'll talk about my thoughts after after I'm done with this. But this this was this was just really really good. It's the first time I ever read a series, and as soon as it was done, I was like, I wish that was a novel. I I, I really wish this was a novel. That I could sit down and really really get into it. Um, there you go. So let's. So you know how I feel before we even open up. I got this. Of course I got this. I love the Adam West Batman. I just love this. So of course I got this collector set upstairs in my in my reading room. Believe it or not, this is not my reading room. <laughs> I have two reading rooms. Okay, so Hell's Kitchen, the '70s. So this is this is 1975, whatever. So it, in Hell's Kitchen, and believe me, Manhattan and Hell's Kitchen was a bad area back then. You you didn't want to go down there. So the, so right away, I was like, oh, perfect. It's 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 set in the in the in the bad bad times of the seventies Manhattan. If you've ever watched Taxi Driver, you know Manhattan was not the best of places. And these are the the husbands of the three women. Okay? So setting up they're they're nobody to be trifled with. And you know, they dog piling and the police come. Some people can't help it. You see all three of them they they're drinking, they're singing, but they're all going to jail. You know so that's the opening of the story. Okay. Um, the artwork is okay. It works for this story. Not, it's not my favorite. Uh, we didn't come to the credits yet, did we? Did we pass the credits? No. We didn't come to the credits. So this is all like a, a prelogue. So they're all the three, you know, they're all, they're married to three sisters. And there's the three sisters. And they're going to jail. This is the night before, the last night of free, freedom before, before prison. And, you know, they're having a big shebang. They're going to jail. These are the three sisters. That's Raven, that's Kath, and that's Angie. And like I said, I, I, 
<laughs> can you blame me? I thought it was like a, a coven and, and witchcraft story. But uh, the three Irish sisters, their husbands are Irish mobsters, and this is New York City in the, in this this takes place around 70, 75. There's, there's, it, it, you know that it, it finishes up around 1977 because they talk about the Summer of Sam and then they go into the blackout in a later issue, but not this particular. So you know the exact dates. But that's that's Kath, that's Raven, and that's Angie. And that's Constantine. I, I told myself I actually DVR'd this show and I, I've never watched it. And that DVR since broke down and so I guess I gotta watch it on Netflix. Okay, so here's the splash page. This is the, uh, you know, like I said, the splash page doesn't always have to be the first issue, but that was all the preliminary. That was all the setup. So the three husbands who were the tough guy mobsters would go to jail. And now the three wives are left, you know, I, poor, destitute, whatever word. So Ollie Masters is the writer. And like I said, as soon as I was, a, 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 blah, 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 blah. As soon as I was done with the eighth issue, because this is an eight-issue limited series, I looked him up to see what other comics he wrote. And he wrote this, and he wrote two issues of Wonder Woman. Ming Doyle, I'm sorry, and I don't mean to be mean, but I didn't look up Ming Doyle. I don't know if it's male or female. I don't know anything about this person. Um, competent artist, just not my cup of tea. And they cannot draw guns to save his or her life. <laughs> like, I, what, the first time I saw a gun, I was like, what, what is that gun wrapped up in, in a bag? So they're not get, I was like, okay, they don't want to get fingerprints on the gun. I'm like, no, that's just the way she draws guns or he draws guns. I don't know who Ming Doyle is. Sorry, I liked your comic though. Uh, Jordi Belair, Clem Robbins, Becky Cloonan. Oh, the cover art I thought is phenomenal. I, I loved all issues. So Becky Cloonan, I should have looked you up. I didn't realize it was a different artist. Um, I, I like your art, Becky. I'll, I'll, I'll look you up, see see what else you do, because I did really like the covers. Okay, these are the editors, and okay, there you go. But I love this, because, you know, Hell's Kitchen in the 70s, you got the station wagons, um, the stores, you know what I mean? And she's now collecting for her husband. So her husband's like, yeah, go get the money that for these people. You know, the husband was the gangster, ran the protection rackets and the numbers or whatever. I, I'm not a criminal, so I don't know the exact things that they do. But she's now collecting the money and she's using her husband's, well, the husband's giving her a reputation, you know, when I come out of jail. So, but they're shorting her and she's just grinning it and taking it. So good. Oh, and she goes into the bar that they own. She looks into the safe, you know. Set everything up. I, I love the old jackets. All the, everybody kind of has like long 70s hair. And she's lamenting. You know, what my husband's in jail. How am I going to get by? You know, I got to do this. I got to I, I collect whatever money he is. You know, the bartender's typical bartender just lis listen to the story. And she's just like, yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll do. So then she goes to visit her sister Raven, whose husband also is in jail. You know, the three husbands were the... Were the uh, with the, the 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 criminals and the wives with a you know the 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 malls I guess is the word, and she's making potato soup and uh, Irish soda bread and she's just like ah, the same kind of crap mom used to make. He's like, yeah, well, it's we can't afford to go out to dinner every night. And she's just like, ooh, you know, because she's not doing too bad. The cat, the blonde, is not doing too bad. She's doing the collecting. Raven is just living on on like the scraps that everybody else is giving. So she's like, how are you doing for money? So like, we should go out and let's collect. Come with me and, and collect with me. I could use the help and blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, I thought I would, I, I didn't realize there was an ad, but I might as well do this. DCBS. This is the comic book, comic book, comic. DCBS, the discount comic book service. And that's what I use to buy comics. So I get a mail to me once a month. Okay. So there you go. This is this is the service I used. I, I showed you, if you've seen my videos, I one of the videos was me actually ordering my monthly comics. This is this is the service that I use. Um, my comic book store closed down years ago, um, and then I went to another comic book store, and then I just I, I bought so many comics that saving these discounts it was really a no brainer. I'm so, I'm sorry brick and mortar stores, but you know times are tough for everybody. So, there you go. 
so now they're talking about the kids and they're going and they're gonna collect and they get Angie and she's like the the quiet she barely has any lines in, in the whole series so now the three sisters are getting together and they're gonna go out collecting and this is what like I was like oh like at this point I was like oh it's a mafia story I thought it was gonna be a witchcraft so even up to this point I thought it was gonna be a coven of women so here they go to the pizzeria to collect the money and oh Raven says, yeah, you've been coasted by on Jimmy's reputation. What are they going to do when, like, they're ripping you off? Don't you care? He says, as long as we're getting money, it doesn't matter. He goes, so what are you going to do if they don't pay us anything? And she's just like, didn't think of that, you know. So, of course, as Fortune says, they go to this guy at the pizzeria, and, like, we're here to collect money. Look, lady, I just finished work. I don't need this right now. So here it comes. Flash, I've never watched that show. Green Arrow. I've never watched the show. You could go home and, and give me the money. You'll like go. Yeah, her in the car. Yeah, it's her car. Listen, lady. No, nobody said anything about paying anybody's wife. You know, I I pay Jimmy. Jimmy's in jail. I don't pay him. He goes. You still owe me the money. He goes, look, lady. Get out of here. I ain't got time for this. So look at the fist. So she's like, you know who my husband is, and he's like, do you know who I am? So he slaps her, and she goes back to the car, you know, in disgrace. Now this is the first time that they've they've uh, encountered this. Usually it was just oh, okay, you're Jimmy's wife here. Let me pay you because you know they don't they know Jimmy's going to get out of jail sooner or later, and they don't want to deal with it. So now all three sisters are are uh, what's the word commiserating, I guess. And uh, she's remembering the first time she ever went on a date with Jimmy it was the first date. Some guy grabbed her in the butt, and Jimmy went and uh and then the guy made fun of jimmy's shoes grabbed her in the butt grip made fun of his shoes and then jimmy slid his throat and killed him and she was just like you can't get a late let them get and jimmy said to him in this business you can't let anybody be disrespectful to you they'll think you're weak he goes if you know he did this in public so he's got to take his medicine in public i got to rectify this in public so she's just remembering this we can't let anybody so she takes out a gun look look, look at the gun it's just awful looking and he's walking back, and she just bashes him with the gun. Takes it by surprise. Now, I liked it. And then he falls down, and she just beats him. You know, what? what is that called? Uh, when you when you just hit somebody with, with, with the back of the gun, there's a word. And then she shoots the side of his face. She purposely misses. She didn't have the heart to kill him. You know, th this is the beginning of the story. And now he's just laying there, and he's in a coma. And this guy just, of course, the guy inside the store saw all this because, you know, drama they find out who he is and she's like oh he's, he's one of the mob bosses uh he's frankie costello tony costello's brother so there's a made guy that they know about that that uh, the husbands used to deal with and she just effed up their brother so here you go they're in a they're in trouble and this guy's watching so now they're like what are they gonna do Ta -da! end of the first issue i was riveted by the end of that issue i was riveted and I liked it, you know, it, it, it's, hate, uh, I, I, I don't want to get involved in this stuff, but it's not woke. They sneak up, on the, she, you know, she's a, a woman, she sneaks up on the guy, beats him by surprise. You know, everything about it was super realistic. And, you know, that's, they have to deal with this now. Uh, they realize they got to up, up, they up their game. They got to can't let anybody slide and they become vicious enforcers. And, of course, that guy comes around, tries to extort money from them, and they have to deal with that. That's, I, I don't want to give any more spoils because the story is really good. But what I like about it is they, 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 guns are the equalizers. Let's just leave it at that. You know, you don't have to go out and beat people up anymore when you, when you, when you have guns. Guns are the equalizers. A 90-pound woman could take out a 300-pound guy when guns are involved and that's what i like about the story is they they don't make them super women going around beating up 900 pound men and 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 40 guys stuff like that it, it's 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 really it's really well done and i love the transformation she goes from this mousy girl who's shocked by everything to being the scary one she's the one who starts everything we can't take any crap to the one with regrets and remorse and then this sister she's the boss you know, she's the one who didn't want to do anything. It's, it's, I probably spoiled too much already, but 
it's it's oh, it's such a good story. I I, I want to talk about it, but I don't want to ruin it for you. That's how you know. That's how excited I am about it. I really really enjoyed it, and the, trying to get rid of the glare. But uh, it you could get all eight issues for pretty pretty cheap. You could go to like my comic shop dot com and get them for like a two dollars a piece, or you could get a, a if you could find it a trade paperback, two trade paperbacks. But uh, I don't know. I, I like having the floppy comics. The covers I thought were really good. Uh, I did, just just a good story. I, I it, it would make a wonderful Netflix movie. I I wanted to read a novel. <laughs> you know, I want to I want to see more about it. <coughs> I like the fact that they talked about the blackout in 1977 and, and the son of Sam because you know I, I I lived around here at this time, so you know it, it brought back some memories. It was it, it was it was good. And New York was a bad place. New York, it was overridden by crime until, like, Giuliani became the mayor, kind of cleaned things out a little bit. So, I, I know, I just liked it for so many different reasons. It was It was a good comic. Um, I, I, I'm looking out for Master, see if he does any more comics. Um, I didn't dislike Ming Doyle's artwork. I, I It grew on me. It, it fit. Um, there was a couple of problems. Uh, the first couple of issues, I had... Uh, the women, I could tell them apart because of their hair color, but a few of the characters, I, I got to admit, I was confused. I didn't know who was who because, uh, uh, I, I don't want to say the art was bad, but a couple of times I didn't know who, who was who, and I had to go go back and, 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 re and remind myself who the characters were because of the uh, the art didn't really differentiate a lot of people too well. I'll leave it at that. So here you go. I liked it. Six-year-old comic took me by surprise. I, I, I look and I, I, I kind of figured out one of the things. I always like to figure out where the story is going. So I, I kind of figure out one thing. But there's so many twists and turns that I didn't figure out, and I love that when, when the writer beats me. You know, I'm trying to beat the writer at their game. They're the professionals, and the writer beat me. It was I, I love that. I love that. Now I'm not saying I'm a genius or anything, but if if I could beat the writer, then you know I'm, I'm nobody. You know, I shouldn't be beating the writers, but this writer beat me, and I loved it. So there you go. Thanks a lot. Hope you enjoyed this. Happy Halloween, everybody. Bye-bye.